Good morning. Uh, afternoon, evening, when any of you happen to be watching this. This is my introduction to our lecture on bandwidth and how it's going to be used. Since we are pushing toward thinking about social media, we must think about the backbone on which it all sits. So we will watch a short slide deck here. I'll talk us through it. And uh, then we can think about how we want to roll our thoughts about what we want to do with our social media plan for a project together. So let's do a little flip around here and I should be able to turn on my presentation. Hopefully you see the title slide, the bandwidth bandwagon. We're thinking about capacity here. How much can we fit on a line and how does that affect what people are going to see? Uh, so if you think about global internet usage, just people that get on the internet as a whole, there is a company out there, one of which uh, is Statista. It tracks these kind of things. This is a chart from their website that I just pulled down. You can see in 2005 back here, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, uh, we had about 1,100 million, so 1.1 billion people were on the internet. If we go forward to last year, um, which they're still rolling together all the statistics, statistics for ah, statistics blah, blah, for uh, you can see we're up about 4.1 billion people are on the internet so these are out there using uh, the lines that we need to throw our content on so if we look at an idea of traffic control, what are those people doing? Uh, well, in 2008, they took a look at what kind of content is being streamed over the internet worldwide. And you can see the leader by far is video. Well, thanks to our friends, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, etc. Um, they are going crazy there. Regular web content, gaming, social media, which is the piece we're focusing on. Uh, is very much smaller, uh, da, 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 all the way down to audio streaming for the things they tracked. Well, if we break down, say, video into who was actually providing the most content, we can see that Netflix was the granddaddy up here at 26.6% of the 57% video streaming. Uh, regular web streaming and then YouTube came in third. All in, and then we get down to Prime and Hulu. Actually, interesting. Very small piece of the pie as of October 2018. Uh, if we fast forward to now, we have all sorts of services. Everybody's getting into the game. CBS, NBC, Disney Plus just came out with their new one. Disney went a billion dollars in the hole to try to prove they can do it. Uh, we won't see any statistics on that for probably a good year uh, now. But so let's look at another way of looking at things, uh, and this is mobile. We all have mobile phones, and a lot of our content uh, is where we look at this. So you can see we have mobile file sharing is a very tiny piece of the puzzle, but people watching video on their phones has increased. The light blue is 2014. The dark blue or black here uh, is 2019. So there's definite increase in the amount of people uh, watching video on their phones and there's a decrease in people using their mobile web data uh, for things well we're getting onto Wi-Fi more restaurants are throwing up free Wi-Fi ours our motels and shopping malls airports okay. diving closer into our social media thoughts um, messaging apps these are closely tied to social media you can see that WhatsApp uh, in October 2019 had 1.6 billion users. Uh, Facebook came in second with the messaging app of 1.3 billion and WeChat was down there at 1.1. WeChat is, um, if you don't know, uh, that's the big Chinese messaging application. All right. We look at the most popular social networks worldwide as of uh, this last January. This is where you want to think what platform do you want to drive your uh, game content too. Uh, you'll see that Facebook is the granddaddy, the first social uh, media social network application to ever pass a billion users. Now they're up pretty close to 2.5 billion. YouTube comes in second. They're owned by Google now. Uh, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram now owned by Facebook. Um, so 
they've got just at a billion active users. And an active user is defined as somebody who has been on the platform in the last 30 days. So comparing apples to apples. All right. Well, you've probably been online and you see this, what uh, I lovingly call the circle of patience. We're buffering, we're loading, we're trying to get something. Well, why does this happen? Okay. If you've ever traveled to a larger city, uh, you might have experienced this. You're all on the road at the same time trying to get to places uh, and there are collisions in real life. This happens in the digital world as well. So let me put this into a slight perspective for us. Okay, we're all familiar with the American currency, right? Uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, etc. All the way up to the dollar piece. And I want to focus on uh, giving us some points of view, points of reference to let us think about how much traffic actually exists and is running on the internet as we know it. There's a company out there called Telegeography who has been tracking what they call the functional capacity or bandwidth of the internet as it exists at the moment. They study this every year and they found it's raising at about 28% per year. People are adding lines, uh, fiber optics, satellite connections, what have you, uh, to add content. So we can see that in 2017 there was about 295 terabits per second available to us and it's risen all the way up to 466 terabits per second, uh, trillion bits per second in 2019. Well, what in the world does that mean? I can't understand this. What is a bit? What is a billion of them per second, etc. on and on and on, uh, let alone this. So operating within the available medium, let's look at our friend, the quarter. Everybody understands what a quarter looks like, what it is. Um, well, if we were going to say, give us a physical representation of 466 terabits per second with one quarter as a bit, that would give us a stack of quarters around the equator of our planet, planet Earth, 22,274 times every second. That is the amount of traffic that the internet can currently hold. Um, if that is a little staggering for our brains to understand, um, we can also think of it as a little over 2,300 round trips to the moon and back uh, in a second with our stack of quarters. Wow, that is a lot. If we compare that to uh, what I saw referred to last year in a report, um, the number of connections on our current internet uh, right now actually approximates the number of connections in the one human brain. So the worldwide internet now has the functional capacity and connections as one human brain. Quite interesting. Uh, so this brings us to the end of our talk on bandwidth. This is my grand puppy Brutus looking longingly out the window wishing he could be outside in the sunshine last year. Uh, so leave you that with a happy thought. Uh, so think about this, think about your project in terms of which social media platform you want to use. Should I use video? Should I use text content? Um, should I use stored media? Is cloud storage better for what I'm doing? Uh, there's a lot of people competing for the bandwidth we have. It is growing to expand and we may notice some slowdowns even in our current course as all universities uh, are trying to push online now. So think about it. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, please comment, please feedback, please ask questions if you have them. Uh, this is Luke Buckley signing out.